Hey folks, welcome to my Pygame outline tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to outline images with any color and store it so you can turn this into this. For this tutorial, you'll probably want to understand masks a little bit. I'll explain a little bit of what they, what they do and what they are, but otherwise I expect you to kind of read up on them beforehand. And I do expect that you have a little bit of knowledge with uh, Python and Pygame ahead of time. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail as far as what's going on. So for starters, we have a basic boilerplate here of a Pygame game. Uh, we've got a class here that essentially is just your clock, your screen. It loads an image from disk and stores it into an images dictionary that is a globally accessible. Uh, there's an update function that does nothing. Uh, simply, it draws a white background and updates the display. And the run loop is just while running, update, wait for it to quit, update and draw. So if we run this right now, we get a giant blank white screen. The first thing that we're going to do is we are going to draw our current image, which is a wabbit. The wabbit image is just this little wabbit guy. He has no outline, and we're going to go ahead and give him an outline by the end of the tutorial. So the first, first step is we're going to actually want to have some sort of position where we need to draw this thing. So we're just going to, we're just going to draw it at the mouse's position. So to do this, we're going to just go ahead and call the mouse.getPosition function, and that's going to get our mouse's position, and we're going to set that to a variable called draw position or draw pause. And we'll do that every single frame. So we want to actually add that to our update as well. And so now our draw position is up to date to whatever the mouse's position at all times. And all we have to do now is draw the wabbit image at the mouse's position. To do this, we're going to blit our wabbit image from our images dictionary to that self.draw pause. Now, when we run this, we should see the wabbit image at our mouse's position. And look at that. We've got our rabbit, and he follows our mouse just fine. The next step involves making a outliner class. The outliner class is going to take any surface and add an outline and give you that outline surface in return. So we'll just go ahead and make a new class called outliner and give it an init function. And in this init, fu init function, right now we're just going to pass. The main functionality of the outliner class is going to come from the outline surface function, which we're going to define now. The outline surface function is going to take a surface, a color, which will be our outline color, and we'll set, we'll set the default to black for now. And then we're going to go ahead and jump in here and do some magic. The first thing that we want to do is we want to actually create a mask from our surface. So we're going to create a mask, and that's going to be equal to pygame.mask.from from surface, and that's going to take our surface. All right, so what that's going to do is it's going to take, let's say, our wabbit surface, and we're actually going to turn that into a mask. And so a mask is just a surface, essentially, with either an on or an off for each pixel. So our, our Wabbit, for instance, in this case, is going to be uh, just a bunch of pixels wherever the Wabbit image is colored in. And then any of these white pixels are going to be the unset pixels, basically. So you have set pixels and unset pixels. and you're just going to flatten the whole image into what is there and what isn't there, essentially. We need what is called a convolution mask. And we're actually going to create this in our init function. The convolution mask is going to be a high game mask with a 
size of three by three, and we're going to tell it to be filled in, which is basically going to create a three by three mask that has all of its bits set to the set mode. And what we're going to do with this convolution mask is involve the mask we just created in our outline surface function. And what that means is it's going to take for each pixel in our mask, we're going to look at that convolution mask and basically decide which pixels around that pixel we're going to set and unset. And so in this case, what's going to happen is for each pixel in our mask that is set, we're going to create another, uh, we're going to fill all three by three around it. So the three by three in this case would be centered on the pixel and you're going to have uh, every pixel around it is going to then be filled in. So if you can, if you can imagine filling in eight pixels around the center pixel. To do this, we're going to take our mask and we're going to call the convolve function. And what the convolve function does is it takes another mask and actually does that convolving essentially. And you can tell it uh, which mask to output to or an offset so that you could kind of shift things around if, if, you, were, uh, if you wanted to, but we're not gonna do any of that here. We're just gonna go ahead and convolve our mask around our convolution mask, right? And so what this is actually gonna return is it's gonna return another mask, but we don't, we don't want that actually. We want, we want this to be a surface. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna then call the to surface function Right? And this is going to convert our output mask, our, our convolved mask, to a surface. And what that's going to take is a set color. And that is going to be equal to the color that we passed in up in our outline surface call, which it's going to default to black. Basically, we're going to have a black outline by default. Otherwise, we're going to set the color to whatever color we pass in. And then our unset color is going to be equal to our surface dot get color key. And so what that's going to do is it's going to preserve the same color key that the original surface that got passed in had. And this is actually going to create a surface. You see that it returns a surface. So we're going to go ahead and assign this to surface outline. Now our surface outline is a essentially a surface that's been uh, converted from our convolved mask. And so what we can do now is we can return the surface outline from this function. And now we have our, our, basically our background, if you can think of it like that. It's like our outline, it's our background. It's essentially just a, 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 a big, bigger, fatter version of our Wabbit with no details, just our outline color. And if we want to take a look at what this, what this looks like, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to come down here in our game, game class. And we're going to go ahead and create... Uh, an outliner, an instance of an outliner. So self.outliner is equal to outliner, right? And then in our load image function, we're actually going to go ahead and we're going to store not just the image that we've loaded, but we're also going to store our image as an outline. So we're going to use an F string here and we're going to take our image name and we're going to add an underscore outline to it, right? So, and we're going to store it in this images dictionary alongside our other image. And you could go ahead and store this pretty much wherever you want, but it's recommended that you only store this or you're only going to want to outline something once. Uh, unless you have to change the color or something like that of the outline, right? You don't want to be calling this convolve function every single frame. That's, that's a waste of resources. So what you want to do is when you're loading an image, you also want to create maybe its outlined version or whatever image version that you're going to need of that 
of that image that you loaded. And so to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and set this uh, equal to our self.outliner dot outline surface. And what are we going to outline? We're going to outline our image, right? And let's go ahead and we'll keep it as a, a black outline for now. And now what we have is that outline surface will be stored in our image name underscore outline, right? And we'll save that. And instead of displaying our images of Wabbit, we'll go ahead and display images of Wabbit underscore outline. And let's go ahead and see what this looks like. So now what you see is our Wabbit's outline. So it looks like there's no Wabbit. And why is, why is the, why is it all solid black? Why, why aren't we, uh, why don't we see just the outline here? Uh, and that's because of that convolve function again. It, it is going to put uh, a set pixel everywhere around a set pixel of our original Wabbit. So all of those inside picture inside pixels are going to be setting everything around them, and therefore you're going to end up with uh, just uh, all set pixels in inside. But what you can see is the outline is starting to come together. So let's go ahead and actually add add the original Wabbit back into the picture so that it all comes together. So let's go ahead back up to our outline surface function here, and we are going to, before we return it, we're just going to take our surface outline. And we're going to go ahead and blit the original surface to it at an offset of one by one, right? So one, one, one is going to essentially offset by this three by three so if this was if you wanted a thicker outline what you'll do is you'll increase this to let's say five by five and then you'll give it an offset of two by two right so you're you're basically going to you don't want to put the um the image in that top left corner you want to actually offset it down because you've added an extra pixel to the right an extra pixel to the left an extra pixel to the top and an extra pixel to the bottom so now you're basically just Recentering the original Wabbit image onto the surface outline, right? And so let's go ahead and save this and run it. What does it look like now? Oh my God. Oh my God. It's a Wabbit and he's outlined with our color. Holy mother of God. But wait, there's more. What if we only want our outline and not our Wabbit inside it? How do we do that? Well, we go ahead and we take our original mask, turn it into a surface, and then blit it as if it was the Wabbit. Let's go ahead and, and do that now. So what we're going to do is we're going to add an extra keyword argument here at the top, and it's going to say outline only. If I could type, and that's going to be defaulted to false. But what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to say if outline only, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? We're going to take our mask and turn it into a surface. And remember, this is our Wabbit mask, not our out involved mask. All right, so we're going to store our mask surface as, as, a, uh, as the Wabbit's to surface. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to set its color key to black here. And black is the default uh, unset color, actually. So the unset color here, for instance, is black. So we're going to actually make the unset color be uh, basically transparent. It's not going to draw it. So what we're going to end up with is that mask surface is going to be a white pixel for every single colored pixel in our original image and a black pixel for every single uh, anything that wasn't set. And then what we want to do is we want to color key it to black so that when we actually draw this thing to our surface outline, it's going to only draw uh, the, the Wabbit, the, the set pixels. And so here we're going to surface outline dot uh, that mask surface. 
right at, again, that, that same offset as before, the 1-1 one, one offset. And what we need to do is just add an else statement here so that the surface outline is going to be done with the regular surface or the surface that we've created, um, or I'm sorry, the, the regular surface, the colored surface versus the mask surface right here. So if we go ahead and save that, and now we can add this outline only parameter to our draw call and, or to, to our, I'm sorry, to our outliner call. And we can say outline only equals true here. And if we run this now, we should just see the outline only, right? So that's how you would get only the outline, right? And now you can see that we have a way of getting our regular image, our outlined image, and just the outline. So, but wait, there's even more. Okay, there's even more. If you notice, there's a couple pixels at the corner of his ears and his hands and his toes where they're set, and maybe maybe you don't want those pixels set. Maybe maybe you maybe you just want the uh, any pixel that's above, below, to the left, or to the right of a set pixel to be where the outline is. So we can actually do that with this exact same method. Let's just go ahead and add four more lines of code to, to handle each case where we don't want those additional corner pixels. To do this, we're gonna go ahead and come back up to our init function in our outliner, and we're gonna modify our convolution mask ever so slightly. So self.convolutionMask here, and we're gonna actually go ahead and call the setAt function. So the setAt function specifically will set a individual pixel of the uh, of the convolution mask to a particular value, either true or false, essentially on or off, set or unset. And so what, what, which pixels do we want to set and which pixels do we want to unset? We want to set the corners to false. So we're going to take the top left here and we're going to set it to a value of zero. And what we're going to do is we're going to copy that line three more times, one, two, three, and we're going to set the, remember these are uh, zero, zero is our first index. So the two zero is now our top right. And then we're going to have our, uh, bottom left. And finally our bottom right. And so what that's going to do is instead of having a three by three completely filled in, we're actually going to go ahead and have a three by three that has all of its corners as turned off or unset, not filled in. And what, if you can imagine it, I, I don't have a, a way to draw it, but uh, it's basically just a plus sign essentially of set bits. Now we're going to go ahead and rerun our program here. And what you'll see is our outline has been trim down quite a bit. It's all of those corner pixels are no longer uh, part of the outline and you get a lot more of a sharp kind of outline around your image. So it's actually a, a really cool, you know, way of using the convolve function. I've never seen anyone else do it like this. And I just wanted to share uh, how I did it, how I do it, uh, you know, and so really, you know, I want you guys to have fun and learn more about Pygame. So I hope this tutorial was of use to you. And if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments. I'm, I'm happy to answer. And if you see any problems with the code, please let me know. All right. Anyway, have a good one.